means that this girl is going to be riding her horse today. I am going to be riding my horse today. Woo! Wait a minute. Back it up, Laura. There's way too much sun in this house. Way too much happiness in this house. Are you happy, Gabby? Yeah, Gabby's happy. You know why we're happy? Because we get enough sleep. That's why. That's what happens. <laughs> if you get enough sleep, you will always be happy. I don't know if you can tell who else is happy. Basically, it is calendar time in the day but <laughs> in the day by day house. You hear her growl? It was not a growl, it was a groan. It's because she's excited. <laughs> we have some very vocal dogs in our house. Careful, Ruby. People will be thinking you're violent soon. She does talk to us, and so does Daisy. And on Instagram, everybody thinks that we're doing the wrong thing. They think that she's turning into a vicious dog. Oh, you should have made her sit. Look at how patient Ruby is. She's a perfect dog. Oh, get one to Ruby. Ruby's doing everything you say. Spin. 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 No, spin. Spin. Okay, give it to her because now spin. she's getting upset with Molly. Down. 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 Good girl, Molly. Ruby, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good, Good girl. girl. Okay, give her the treat now. Spin. That's too many, for goodness sake. Spin. She's feeling nervous that she's not going to get it. Good girl. Good girl, Ma Ruby. Molly, Ruby's my dog now. Spin. Spin. I've taken her. Sit. Paw. No, uh-uh. Sit. No. Paw. <laughs> Down. If you Down. guys ever get a chance to buy treats Down. from Costco, those are the ones. Our dogs love the treats in this advent calendar. Gabby has to make it last for as long as possible. It's mm, the most amazing. It's the most attentive our dogs ever are. Whew! It is chilly on the day by day farm. You ready? Oh, Penny, what happened to you? Oh! Oh. I'm gonna fix that. Last night I hardly slept. It is true. I worried all night about those stupid shavings. If I had I had more time to figure them out, I would have figured them out. But I was at the barn with Gabby. Sam put them in her stall. Oh no! I have a suspicion that the cats were around does that look like cat poop oh goodness this is all of my penny products all this this is what she gets well actually she gets all of this except for the oil because she won't eat it i'm gonna have to syringe that into her one two three four five supplements the most supplements i've ever given a horse why you ask? It's because she's grouchy and I have to make sure for myself. I have to make sure for myself that it's not because she's in pain before I can feel comfortable. Cats knock down the food, Gabby. Great. I know. This is her first time getting the ulcer supplement. All right, so back to her shavings. I'm so sorry, Penny. I'm so sorry that you had the worst night's sleep of your life. I'm gonna fix it today. I watched a bunch of videos. Apparently, you can put this stuff in their stall and just leave it like that. <laughs> She's like, I don't like this stuff. Oh, I hope you like it. That's important medicine for you. She's very suspicious about what we put in her food. I hope you like it. All the horses like it. All right, lots of water. So anyways, this stuff, we should have watered it. I read that if you, in Canada, it might not be the best choice, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it should have been, should have been watered. I'm sorry, Pen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> so uh, I've been sharing with you guys all the hearts that God sends to me on a regular basis. And a lot of you guys have been sending me pictures of the hearts that you found. And today I woke up to this message from this beautiful woman. She's a mom to a two year old. I forget her name. And she told me that she was gonna ride the other day because it was really cold and yucky out there. We're gonna, I'm gonna fix it. You're gonna see the difference in a few minutes. So she told me that she wasn't gonna ride. She was at the barn, it was just really cold out. And then, she, after mucking up stalls, she looked down and there was a heart 
on her in her fingernail. Like there was a heart, perfect heart shape in her fingernail. She sent me a picture. And as soon as she saw the heart, she was like, you know what? Who knows when the next time I'm gonna get to ride is. I'm gonna ride. And she went out there and she rode and she sent me this beautiful inspirational message saying that I was an inspiration. And then I was like, what? I'm not an inspiration, you're an inspiration. Because now, um, as soon as I read that, I jumped out of bed, I threw on my breeches. Let me tell you, no matter what the weather today, I'm jumping on my girl, and I'm riding her around this property. I'm excited. Days that I wake up with a plan, an amazing, beautiful plan for our day are my favorite days. I also like days where I wake up where anything is possible, where I don't have plans to. Look, she doesn't love the, she doesn't love the ulcer supplement. Penny, penny. Gotta have it. I need like 50 of those bags. To make no, like a good bag. no, when you water it, put water on it, it turns into like a big, huge pile of sawdust. So you're putting water on it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it today. After I pick all the shavings out of the poo. That's your job. That's your job. <laughs> Very much, Molly, but I do not want this in here. Look at you're destroying. She also I, to a pile of I bought, yes, yeah, our whole barn is littered with Molly toys. She's not your average border collie. She's the kind of border collie that only likes giant sized toys. Oh gosh, that's why Gabby holds her back. She's not smart enough yet Wait, to. I want to kick it. Don't kick it. I'm right, Gabby out there doing all the work. Like a smart girl. Days when it's so cold. Those are the days that you get done fast. Hi, Ollie Pants. We all explore and all that stuff when. Oh, Molly's here. Molly, you can actually control her. He's so cute. Come on, Penny, Penny Pickle. She still has some junk in her eye. I think she's gonna need cream. Anyways, oh, look. Everything left is the supplement. That's a girl, you'll like it. Isn't it good? She's gonna eat it. Maybe she's saving the best to last. Oh, she's gonna eat it. Sam doesn't like me adding supplements to her feed because it takes her 17 hours to eat it. But ever since she had her teeth done, she doesn't drop her grain as much. Good girl. And she's like, ew. She does not like it. <laughs> well, that's because I poured a little bit too much by mistake. You gotta have it in there. Yes. All right, let's clean you. Oh, looks like she did try and lay down. Yes, you did. And it was a terrible bed. Did you hate it last night? She's like, yes, I hated it so much. You destroyed my one happiness in life. You destroyed my bed. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it right now. See, where you step, where she stepped, it did turn into like a sawdust. Oh, that's a poo. Yuck. That's disgusting, Laura. Okay, well, we won't touch it. Ah, uh, you're going the wrong way. Oh. Gabby's the scary girl at the barn. The beautiful hair. <laughs> she got so scared. No, she's scared of that stall. It's like suddenly the stall's there for the first time. Or maybe it was the sponge. Like two seconds ago, I walked by there and there was a pylon and a ball. Now there's a sponge. Molly, stop bringing toys everywhere. All right, let's get to moving. Let's get to working. Oh, I cleaned in the penny stall. This is all the poo. And she's a big pooper and a big peer. This is it. So they say if you use pellets, this is how much poop you'll clean each day. I cleaned it. I only put five bags in here. Now I'll go get more bags. I think I'm going to love it, you guys. But basically... There's little teeny pieces of poo I couldn't get. Your menta. Okay, let's push that around a bit. Uh, uh, basically, it's meant to turn to like sawdust. See, that's why, I, oh, look it, it's already working. Just put a little bit of water on it. This should puff up to like double the size. Put it, don't put it in the same spot, put it all over. And then basically, once you clean out some of the shavings in it, way over in Gabby's pile needs some. Once you clean out all the shavings, once you need to add more, which should be less often than regular shavings, then you just pour 
shavings on, then you just pour pellets on top of your fluffed up shavings. So we're gonna let this sit today. I don't know how this is gonna work in Canada where everything freezes. Keep going, so. But Kenny's gonna have a good bed tonight. Like, look at that already. Look at it. Do you guys see it? So basically, once you put the water on it and you let it fluff up, you should just turn it over and it should dry and you just don't want to put too much water in it and oversaturate it. Look, there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. You're supposed to have a nice, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. And there's no dust. I am in love. That's better. Poor Penny. Poor Penny Pickle. Luckily, she's a forgiving horse. Already, you can notice a difference. I don't know if you can notice a difference. Why is it so heavy? But it's much fluffier. Why is it so heavy? So where it's like super wet, you just spread it around. And then once all the shavings are kind of damp a little, you can pour more shavings on it and they will absorb the the wetness the dampness i'm in love like i was so against these back when we were wanting horses back when we were wanting horses long ago sam was like like for years before we bought horses sam was really into the whole farm thing and he bought books upon books about how to have small acreage how to have horses and he was convinced that these were the shavings that we needed to buy and then one day we went to try a horse it was dodo that was the name what one was it? Dodo. Dodo. Went to try, like, remember we went to try Dodo? And we brought him home. He was like, a, we tried him. And there was a horse at their barn. Maybe it was him. And they had these kind of shavings. And I was like, how stupid. To wet shavings. Like, but you don't clean these the same way that you clean wet shavings. So, it's a whole different concept. But now I think I'm hooked. Who knew Sam was right all along, you guys? Have you guys ever noticed that a hoof? It's in the shape of a heart. A horse's hoof is in the shape of a heart. I think horses are... The shape of the V. No, I mean the whole thing, not the V. This part, like... No. Yeah, it is. Gabby is not a believer. Gabby's a doubter. Molly's an eater. Molly stayed in your room all night? Most of the night. But only a couple times is when she tried to jump down, but I was still holding the leg. Yeah! So Molly has Molly has reached like this new mischievous age. Molly's never been mischievous in her entire life, ever. But lately, she's been pushing limits. So normally, she sleeps with Gabby in her bed, and then a couple of weeks ago, like a, about a week ago, she noticed Gabby was asleep, and then she jumped down and went downstairs. And nothing happened. Gabby didn't get mad at her. Like, there was nothing. She just got to go and do whatever she wanted. So then, fast forward to this week. Now, she waits for Gabby to fall asleep. But she, she doesn't even wait. She doesn't even wait. She lays there for five minutes. She doesn't have the brain capacity yet to figure out that Gabby's still awake. Like, how to tell when she's asleep or not. So, now, she waits for three minutes. And then she tries to jump down. So Gabby was working last night on trying to teach her, no, even when I'm asleep, you got to stay here because she doesn't want get, um, she doesn't want Molly to chew her stuff in her room and she doesn't want her like going to the bathroom. Oh, totally different. Looks like, it doesn't look like a lot. Wait. I like it. It's way softer. Way softer. I mean, I still wouldn't want to sleep in it. We could probably add more water, but I think you only have to add water the first time you put the shavings in after when it's all fluffed up and you're using it oh, then then you only just have to add See, look. yeah mix that around so that it, all the rest of the shavings can absorb it eventually you just add more dry shavings on top of the, the shavings that you already have can and Sure, you can sit in it. It's neat. I love I'm it. Help getting back up. I'm hooked. I'm gonna order a skit of this stuff and try it. Like really give it a good try. Okay. I think Sam's gonna be hooked too. Wait. Ah! Molly's laying in it. Ah! Get it! <laughs> oh, oh! Broke my nose. Your glasses punctured my shoulder. <laughs> Sophie pulled me down too. Oh, I banged, scratched me very I banged hard. my nose into 
<laughs> Don't ever try and push somebody over. That's instant karma right there. Oh, surprised it's not gushing blood. Oh, I need to go get more. And I needed to add more water. Why is that just clearing that spot? It's a, it's addicting. Like we want to, I want to add more water. You think we should add more water? Yeah. All right. Next time I'll show you how to actually properly do it right. We're put actually it in the bag. Yeah, you put the water in the bag. I watched a video. All right, we're gonna just add a little bit more water, and then we're gonna let it sit. And when we come down later, you're really bad at throwing water. You are really bad at throwing water. But when we come down later. We will see how much more fluffy it is. So, Sophia, you, you. No, then we're all gonna get wet. Only that area. You just fail. It's okay, <laughs> I'm a failer too. You gotta mix it around. It's too much water in one spot. All right, just cover it. Just leave it and let it absorb. I have a feeling Penny Skull is gonna be the favorite one to, to clean because it's gonna be so no, easy. No, mine's easier. No, shade these mine's things. Mine's actually easier. I love this. Mine. All right, we're obsessed. Like we're obsessed. Look at how much we added more water. Look at how much is in there. Like, you come in? She doesn't want to get close to that. I know, she doesn't love it. Come on, Penny. Touch it. Come on. The LOL dollhouse that I wanted, that I ordered for Brooklyn arrived. Wait, where's Brooklyn? So the LOL dollhouse that I bought for Brooklyn I paid double to get it to come from the States. It's different than the one that I bought. You guys remember? Oops. Oh, maybe it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. So I ordered this for Brooklyn because I couldn't find it in any stores at all in Canada. It cost double the price. See, the dolls are different. These are like, those are the normal dolls. And those are like the actual dolls that I think you can style with their hair and stuff. Uh, it came in this box. And it came in this box. So now I have to get rid of this crazy box. So I have that one and I have this one. So I'm gonna take this one back tonight to Costco. I swear, the one that I just got looks smaller. It is. It is, that's what I've been telling you. What the heck, how come? It's a whole inch smaller. Well, that's more than an inch. Well, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. See, why is it different? Oh, this one has 55 plus surprises. This one that I bought has 60 plus surprises. <gasps> That's annoying. Get so now, 60. Well, I, so I can't send this one back, but I can take this well, one back. Well, you can just say that this is the one you got. This one's two feet by three feet. This one's two feet by three feet. Same size, just, just 10 less, less things. Well, that sucks, but you know what? At least I got it. I'm grateful to at least have one. Long ago, I bought this kit. I'm talking like 10 years ago. And it is meant to make a Christmas tree cookie cake. So it's meant to look like this. You make it out of cookies and then you use icing and you decorate it. It comes with all the recipes. And we have never, ever used it. Even comes with the piping bag. And the little nozzle. Yeah. And so today, Sophie and I are going to try our hand at making a Christmas tree. I'm making it myself. Yeah, she's going to make it herself. I realized that for some reason we only have two Christmas cookie cutters. But today we're going to also make Christmas cookies. And a few other desserts that the girls and I want to make for our Christmas celebration. So the girls and I are going to head to the grocery store, make a list, check it twice, and then we're going to head to the grocery store and we're going to get all the things that we need to make what we, to make our Christmas tree decorations. Isn't that going to be so cute? I absolutely love it. I love the idea of it. If you guys are wondering about the uh, clippers that we got yesterday, Gabby used it. She took care of it. She cleaned the entire box. Put it all back nice and neat she cleaned everything she cleaned the clippers she oiled them she like she put the extra blade in there she got it all ready it is ready for us for the next time i'm gonna actually use this super cute sophie it's small Wait, I, I think Isn't this it's is smaller than i thought it start. doesn't it look smaller than i thought it was gonna be yeah maybe you have to make two of each oh oh well small is better anyways no big is better it's super cute all right, we are all headed out. Well, the eyes are blue today. Yes, okay. They were dark green. Tell them what happened with the LOL dollhouse. Tell them what happened. Uh, we got two of them. We got two of them. But Gabby noticed something about the dolls. Not one of the LOL dolls had green eyes. She felt like the LOL company was being racist to green eyes. It's people. Did you feel like that? Oh, no. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I've got a free tank of gas. Because um, people were racist. And they said that they don't. I saw that time. one. But he wasn't even black. He was white. I know. And then the guy was black, though, so. Okay, so this turn, this took a crazy turn of racism. Anyways, I mean, it was just a joke about the LOL dolls. Racism is real. While we wait for our car to warm up, I just wanted to tell you guys that it is Christmas time and while we are rejoicing and shopping and preparing and wrapping presents and having like so much fun, I recognize the fact that for many people, Christmas is not a happy, joyous occasion. People are alone at Christmas. People have struggles at Christmas financial or, or emotional or the loss of a loved one. You know those black people with like lots of braids? Little braids? Mm -hmm. Dreadlocks? Braids. Mm -hmm. Box braids. Dreadlocks called? are not braided. Mm -hmm. No, what are Dreadlocks? they called? Dreadlocks? The box braids. Box braids. Yeah. Okay. I, want, I want those. I know, I think they're beautiful. I think that would be fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, super fun. But anyways, back into my story. Stop yeah. interrupting you mm -hmm. guys. Um, I just want you guys to know that God often brings the lesson before he brings the blessing. So if you're struggling right now, know that I love you. Just know that it's going to get better. Things are going to get better. Nothing stays the same forever. One of the, the only thing that we can be sure of uh, is change in our lives. So just keep pushing through. Keep hoping and wishing and dreaming. And I hope things turn around for you soon. Just know that I'm thinking about you and I realize that some of you guys are really struggling and going through a hard time. I get messages every single day. But on a positive note, a lot of you guys are sending me hearts that you see and I am in love with that. I want you guys to send me all of the hearts that you see when you're out there in nature or when you're cooking or no matter where you see them, send them to me on Instagram at underscore day by day vlogs. I think that's our Instagram. Uh, send me the hearts that you guys are seeing. I'm loving it. I'd like to try and do something with it. And anyways, uh, okay, let's go. Our car's ready. Okay, so I tried a fancy thing today. I tried backing in to my parking spot. Let's see how I did. Well, I'm on the inside of the line. All right, so I could have backed up a bit. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's check the other side. Let's check the other side, you guys. Let's see how I did. Oh, crappy. I did a terrible job, it's Laura. Okay. Looking so fresh and pretty in here, like all the flowers. All right, I got a list. If you are ever shopping with my kids, never let Sophia go behind you because it can get. She hits my heels. She hits my heels too. And she's... Sophia, you have to stay. Sophia, Sophia, you're not. What? She bought lasagna and a sandwich. What is that for? Two car distances behind her. Oh, she's buying her own groceries. This girl likes to shop. Okay, Gabby. I got this for Chino because I ran out. Okay, so here's the thing. You stay two car lots behind me too. We are in the baking section. But we need icing sugar. This could be bigger. Oh, and I got a ham for 20 bucks. And we need brown sugar. Do you guys like dark sugar, medium sugar, or light sugar? Let's go outside. Gabby brought her money and she brought Sour Patch Kids for her Chino Bambino. So it takes about two weeks for any of you guys who don't know when you take a horse's shoes off. It takes about two weeks for them to acclimatize to the changes. And so he's going to be kind of ouchy for the next couple of weeks and she might not even get to ride him too much. He should be okay on the sand, like in the arena, but yeah, poor guy, like he's so sore, he doesn't even want to walk. Breaks my heart. All right, so these are all the things that we bought today to help with our baking. We Notice needed how butter. Those are attracted to me. I bought the sugar cookie stuff just because this stuff turns out no problem. Like it turns out fine, and it's just one less recipe that I have to make. Some of this stuff. I'll make some sugar cookies. Some of this, okay, that's great. Ooh. So. Could I use this stuff to make my cookies? Mom? Look at your recipe. So Sophie's gonna Mom. do uh, from scratch a recipe. Oh. Notice how all the dogs are attracted to I know. Yeah, like, oh, Daisy. Kirby's eating! Yeah, oh, Daisy, no, cause they all had it. Daisy doesn't get treats. So we have a variety of cookies that we're gonna make. We all took a recipe. I have a few recipes. You know what I'm making after? What? Um, I'm making um, Powerball. 
Mm, yummy. All right, let's get started. Let's get started uh, because we are never going to get done. This is what it looks like us ripping it up in the kitchen, cooking. This is 21st cent. Well, and this is also what it looks like. Dogs everywhere. We're, uh, we're using table salt. Okay. This is baking in the 21st century. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, that's too much salt. Pour it over the garbage can. Oh my gosh. Well, over the freaking tablecloth. Um, so Sophie's here baking at the table with all of us, enjoying the season, watching TV, watching her phone. Then we have Gabby over here making sugar cookies, getting ready to cut them out with her phone. I'm mixing, I'm not getting ready. Well, soon you'll be getting ready. But anyway, this is it. Like, no, it takes a while to mix. It does take a while. So basically, I'm here for the ambiance. I'm here oh, for the enjoyment know? of making cookies with my children. Did They're here for watching their phone. I, did you know that when I was panning in summer one day, I, was texting I accidentally panned a little too much with my bracelet on, so there's just a little, barely, you could barely see it, but it was just a little white strip. Or my bracelet wow, that's really important. I'm so glad you shared that with us right now. Um, I did not do it. Mix all the wet ingredients with the dry, and then the dry ingredients. Hey! Look, at there's a puppy on the couch. I just saw her jump up. Oh, you knew. Don't go on the couch. You're so cute, though. A block of white stuff in it. Hey, listen, I've already finished one complete recipe. Well, that this was is recipe night. number two. This is recipe number two, you well, guys. Well, this isn't as hard as mine. So, for Christmas this year, Gabby's making emoji cookies. Oh. Emoji um, Christmas cookies. I'm going in with my hands. All right, did you wash them? Yeah, before. Out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. All right, it is time to give you an update on what's happening with the cookies. I'm going to give you a true indication of how slow Gabby really is. Sophie has three, four more cookies to bake. But I'm decorating these ones. She's decorating those ones. She has baked the giant star, which had an accident. <laughs> We're trying to glue them back together. All the stars for her cup, for her tree. I have baked all these cookies. Two sets of cookies still inside. I have made all these squares, peanut butter, marshmallow squares that are going in the freezer, as well as more. And Gabby over here, what have you accomplished, Gabby? Gabby's making a rainbow out of flour on the table, decorating some rainbow flour. She's got a bowl for, full of dough. Gabby's one job was emoji cookies, emoji cookies. Gabby, do you have any emoji cookies baked? No. Let's look at that. Dun, dun, dun! Gabby has five emoji cookies tears sleeping sticking out your tongue hey, a happy tongue. face so basically uh, sylvia and i have accomplished so much today and gabby has been making a rainbow a rainbow and watching her show this is our freezer set up for christmas you can hardly even tell if the freezer's on down in the barn because it's so cold in the barn so i'm not gonna lie I'm a believer. I love this stuff. I love it. It is the best. We need more in the corners. It doesn't matter because it, it, it'll all get crunched down eventually. Like it's good to have some that aren't crunched down. I don't want, I, I don't think I'm ever going back, you guys. Never going back to regular shavings. That's how amazing this stuff is. Like look at how high up it is. It's just weird how we soaked it with water and it's all dry. Like it's just weird. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. This is a life-changing situation. Life-changing, earth-shattering. I'll never ever do it any other way again. Like I'm gonna get all shavy, all pellets. In, in Christmas times. Of course I didn't have the camera on facing us when, like I don't, I'm not able to show you guys how smart my horse is. Like, so, she knows that it's not time to come in yet for bedtime. She was like, so she walks right in. She stands here. She stops right here in front of the cross ties. She looks at me and she asks me for direction. She's like, should I go into the stall or should I go into the cross ties? I moved my hand a little tiny bit. She turned her body and backed right into the cross ties. Like the horse has been there, done that and knows, knows stuff. Like she's so amazing. I have to tell you, recently I had a friend say, awful things about Penny, things that she just believed and felt, things that are not true, things that you can't tell by watching 
through a screen and it really affected me affected me it affected how I saw Penny and I literally had to like push so hard to get back into my right frame of mind and realize that Penny is nothing that my friend thinks that she is she's nothing like that and I need to remember that it's so hard having other people's influence on you I know what you guys I know how you guys feel when people say negative things about your own experience it's not a not a good situation ever all we should do is love and support one another so I'm here to tell you guys that if somebody has a negative opinion of you or your life or anything that you're doing in life just brush it aside and keep going keep doing your own thing and living your own experience right pen right my love she's like what are those kids doing i know they're noisy let's get you ready for a ride don't you know that you're beautiful